I just wanted to um, say we are so happy that we saw lots of you come to the food and homework pickup today. And for those of you that came, you got the homework packet. So this is one of the first pages. These are all the activities. So I just wanted to take a minute to explain to you um, how this is gonna work. So you'll see all the different um, subjects that we teach in the classroom and you can go through and pick which one. So say the first one is movement and you're gonna pick the grasshopper hop. So you're gonna go outside and hop through the grass like a grasshopper or a cricket or wiggle like a caterpillar. So if you choose to do that one, then you're gonna get your choice board and this was the second paper that you had and you're going to put your child's name and your child's teacher and right here the week is already filled in for you it says april 6th through april 10th you're going to put the date and then for the activity you're going to write in that you did the grasshopper hop and then you'll come back over here and say it took you 15 minutes or 30 minutes and you'll initial that at the end of the week when you've done when you filled this up with all five of your activities you're going to take a picture of it and then email it or upload it to your teacher. So today I'm going to read you a book this week. So you'll see on the lesson plan that this week we're talking about bugs and insects. So um, on Thursday, Miss Sarah is going to read The Very Hungry Caterpillar. So if you turn your page to, oh nope, it's actually on this one, where reading and story time. The very first book is The Very Hungry Caterpillar. So there's a YouTube link where you can watch the video, or if on Thursday when Miss Sarah uploads the video, you watch her reading it, then you can check that too and put that on your homework. So today I'm gonna to read The Very Clumsy Click Beetle. And um, this one is not on the lessons, but we just wanna read this to give you an introduction to um, in bugs and insects. So this is The Very Clumsy Click Beetle by Eric Carle. One fine morning, a young click beetle decided to go for a walk. At noon, it climbed up and down a flower. So here's the click beetle walking past the sun. He went up and now he's going down. In the afternoon, it rummaged through a pile of pebbles. Pebbles are also called rocks. In the evening, it crawled among the tall blades of grass. So look at it up here on the sharp blade. It's all the way on the top of the grass. And when it turned night, the young clip, clip beetle crept up a tree. After a while, it got tired and it fell to the ground. It landed on its back. The young clip beetle tried very hard to turn over to its feet, but it couldn't. Help! He cried. Do you see him laying here? He's on his back. It looks like somebody's coming along. Do you think they'll help? All along, a wise old click beetle had been watching the young click beetle. Tomorrow morning, I will teach you how to click and flip through the air and land on your feet, said the wise old click beetle. In the meantime, you may as well go to sleep. Good night. So he said he's not going to help him right now. But in the morning, he's going to teach him. The next morning, the wise old click beetle said, look at me, this is how it's done. First, it turned on its back, and then with a loud click, it flipped through the air and landed on its feet. Now you try, said the wise old click beetle. Thank you, that looks easy, replied the young click beetle. Just then, an earthworm stuck his head up out of the ground. Look at me, said the young click beetle, and with a loud click, it flipped through the air, but it landed on its back. How very clumsy of me, said the young click beetle. Just then, a turtle ambled by. Better luck next time, said the turtle. Keep trying. Look at me, said the young click beetle, and with a loud click, it flipped through the air, but it landed on its back. How very clumsy of me, said the young click beetle. Just then, a snail slithered by. Don't worry, said the snail, you'll get there. Look at me, said the young click beetle. And with a loud click, it flipped through the air, but it landed on its back. How very clumsy of me, said the young click beetle. And just then, a mouse scurried by. 
You need a little more practice, said the mouse. Look at me, said the young click beetle. And with a loud click, it flipped through the air, but it landed on its back. Just then, oh, what was this? Who is this? Look at these big feet and look how small the click beetle is. Who do you think this is? The young click beetle had never seen anything so big. It could not move. It was scared. Quick, quick, and flip, cried the wise old click beetle who was watching. And the young click beetle clicked and flipped through the air, but this time it did three graceful somersaults. And what do you think is going to happen? It landed on its feet. Listen, do you hear him clicking? Let's try again so you can hear. Oh, he did three somersaults. Look at you, shouted the wise old click beetle. You have done it. The end. So what I want to show you on the back of this book is since we're talking about bugs and insects and we learned about the clumsy click beetle, that insects have a head, a thorax, and an abdomen. Those are their three main body parts. They also have six legs. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's what you need to remember. Insects have a head, a thorax, which is their middle part, and an abdomen, which is the bottom, and they have six legs. Bye, boys and girls. See you later.